Why is this you representing this this wonderful country to the entire world in this way? Is that real? Like, why are you not embarrassed to say that? Why are you saying that with your chest? I'm saying it. Oh, here, let's look at Tyler Hitler Vera. Let's say I want to go through this wall. Tyler Hitler Vera went to Poland inside the country that kills illegal immigrants and cut this video. He said, Viva la Poland, 3.5 million views in three days. The highest GDP after COVID, Poland. One of the lowest debts, Poland. This is Dominik, a member of European Parliament from Poland, the country that just approved a new measure to shoot and kill anyone that tries to illegally enter their border. Unfortunately, one of our soldiers was killed with a spear because they behave like animals, unfortunately. They don't behave like civilized people. We are the ones with, the, with this border. So we are protecting the whole Europe. But Poland's strict border control and refusal to take in refugees from non-neighboring countries like Syria and Afghanistan has caused the EU to propose a 22,000 euro fine for each person Poland refuses to take in and guys like Dominik to be labeled Islamophobic and fascist. And wow, wow, I wonder where this I wonder where this video is going. Yeah, dude, it's because he is. Like, what do you mean? He said these are animals that need to be shot on sight. Like, that's it. It's over. He is a Islamophobic fascist. Yes. Guess Dominic's political party in Poland. I'm not entirely caught up on uh, the uh, political parties in Poland, but I suspect it's the Nazi one. It's the one closest to a Nazi that still has, like, retains any farkin, any, any seat. He's the... Parking. The funniest thing is that Poland is regarded as Western Europe's Mexicans. Yes. Like Polish migration was a big part of the reason as to why not Farkin, but piss close enough. Piss P I S silly Hazi. Every party in Poland is the Nazi party. Come on. Is Poland running off of never again policies as well? Poland is a very interesting country that, uh, found itself in between the spheres of influence and uh, has, I guess, like short-term memory loss and hates like the last guys more. Uh, and in their hatred of hating the last guys that left more, they've decided <laughs> they've decided they're going to be like the first guys that they also hated. And by that, I mean, they're, they, they've decided their alignment is going to be more Nazi than socialist. Peace. Bravo is president was Okay, there's no way I could tell what the f does that even mean. Law and Justice Party. Oh, dude, I didn't even talk about Denmark's ghetto law. That shit was that is crazy. Denmark is being brought up in the EU for a a ghetto law that they implemented that straight up that straight up is like. Targeting black and brown immigrant communities, even if white immigrant communities have the exact same material uh, circumstances, like if, if they had, regardless of their socioeconomic position, they've decided to uh, destroy only black and brown uh, ghettos, which is wild. And the EU was like, dude, that's like a little too racist even for us. And we're the European Union. Um, anyway, let's continue. We'll get to Denmark in a second. We're talking about Poland right now. Why are you sneaking in Denmark? Commission president says that you're racist. You sound proud of the fact that you haven't taken any refugees. Of course, because this is what our people are expecting from our government. That's number one. This is why Poland is so safe. I don't care. I care about my family and about my country. When I see the wall, I do understand that this is for my future children. Does Poland's strict border policy work? Is Poland significantly safer than the rest of Europe because of it? And do the people of Poland want open borders? Poland are racist. We are proud of it. And I, re I don't really want any immigrants in my country, you know? Thank you, man. Before meeting with Dominique, I headed to the capital of Poland, Warsaw, to see what the locals thought of Poland's border and their border patrol now being able to kill migrants illegally trying to enter their country. Uh, that's sick, man. Like, that's really sick. And he's covering this as a positive. Guys, I went to Poland and found out that uh, the new occupational government has decided to put uh, certain kinds of people in Poland 
into concentrated areas that they're calling camps. I'm here to talk about how sick this policy is. What's up, guys? I'm here at Auschwitz. <laughs> and we're here to talk about the scourge, the enemy that is hiding amongst your neighbors. I mean, he literally did do that in Springfield, so that's sick. University, what are a lot of the students' thoughts on, you know, shooting down illegal immigrants who come through the border? Uh. Uh, I've never heard about it. Okay. But, yeah, okay. It is bad because I don't okay. see any purpose to use a gun for the person. First of all, we need to talk. We need to uh, identify the intention of other person. Oh my God, that's like a tough question. It's a crazy question, right? Yeah, but to be honest, like I'm not sure. Okay, I think he literally found the only non-white people in Poland. Poland's like what, 98% white or some shit? How the f did he find in Warsaw like the the eight people that are not white, bro? What the f going on like actually <laughs> he's on a university campus oh that makes sense they're like how they're controlling the borders but like i saw a lot of refugees in the centrum here there are a lot of immigrants all around the europe and sometimes it can be dangerous for the europeans what are your thoughts on if you came yeah that guy looks like he would be taking that position like warsaw is not that undiverse for poland i was there this year Clan meeting in the comments. We're not racist. We're not Islamophobes. We're logical, best spoken words. You know your country is safe when your prime minister can walk through the streets like a civilian. Poland is still making sure that all their fallen ancestors didn't die for nothing. I'm an Arab Muslim, but I can't blame Poland for protecting their country. It's like blaming someone for shooting an intruder who's trying to break into his house. <laughs> what the fuck, man? My man took the time to talk and show around a YouTube journal is truly a man of the people. Yeah, it's probably because he's got nothing else going on for him, dude. He found- Here illegally, what should be done? Oh, I guess I should, I should go in prison. Do you feel safe here in Poland as a woman? Yeah, very yeah. much. Do you feel safer here in Poland as a woman than you do in India? Yeah, it's more safe. Yeah, yeah it's more safe, a lot safe. You can walk, like uh, go to work at night and nobody cares and nobody is like threatening you. <laughs> That's where I say no? we cross from the main street. Yeah. I really feel not very safe because there are some strange people here. Uh, yes. Yeah. Like men in general. Oh, some sick people. Okay. Uh, they frighten me. Who should the border keep out? Who should it let in in Poland? Nice people, kind, and we have good help. Okay. Do you, do you think having a more strict stance on the border keeps Poland safer, or? As, yeah, 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 I'm pretty sure. I know that many people have that opinion. Okay. I want to believe that it doesn't really matter from which country you're coming. Okay. Um, you know, if you <laughs> apply to the culture, it's going to be fine. Uh, safety it has nothing to do with the border. Okay, nothing? Nothing. What are your thoughts on immigration in Poland? Uh, I'm a political immigrant, and that's why не мне отвечать на этот вопрос. The Я Ukrainian? пока не сталкивался с какими-то негативными проявлениями в свой адрес. Um, why did you come from Belarus to Poland? Uh, oh. Я политический активист, и обратно дороги в Беларусь мне на данный момент нет. How was your experience going through the Belarusian Polish border? У меня чуть другой маршрут. Я прилетел чуть другой маршрут. Я прилетел из Грузии. Я жил в Тбилиси некоторое время. Поэтому в моем случае без экстрима обошлось. Ну, я считаю, что здесь женщины безопасно. И заниматься бизнесом тоже очень хорошо. Um, what are your thoughts on their stance on illegal immigration and the idea that they'll kill you if you try to illegally enter through the border? Ну, я считаю, по международному праву все... Warning, the entire U.S. government is shutting down in less than 72 hours. Turn notifications on now. Something big is coming. What notification can we turn on if the government is shutting down, man? Yeah, our vaccine shots are finally activating. Страны защищают свою территорию, но это на законодательном уровне. Никто из хозяева, но если есть граница, существует, должны соблюдаться, ну, законные вот эти данные. Поэтому, но если ты нелегально пересечаешь, ты территориальную целостность защищаешь. Считаю, что государство вправе применять оружие. Для защиты своей территории. Если ты бежишь от войны, пожалуйста, регистрируйся, получай документы, работы. Мне кажется, страна очень комфортная для жизни и, по-моему, очень толерантно относится ко всем беженцам. Я бежала от войны, и тем не менее за два года мы тоже здесь. Wait, she's not speaking Polish? Is she speaking? Is she Ukrainian?
Wait, you found the 32 hits on the Israeli airbase? There's actually our first count of the 32 missile struck the Neva team airbase. Although three impact points are obscured by the clouds in the 50 centimeter sky set, had to be made with three mi three meter three M dove images white pins. A lot of Eastern Europeans actually hate all Ukrainian refugees. What are your thoughts on the border here in Poland as uh, someone from Ukraine? Ah, fine, fine, fine. It's really fine. Yeah, it's uh, no uh, no problem with uh, service. Was it easy to get here from Ukraine? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. really easy. A few wow. hours and and you fled. Huh? Why was it easy for him to get in from Ukraine, but it's not so easy when people are leaving an escaping war and they're coming from I don't know, let's say Syria. Much to ponder. Much to think about here. But for political asylum? Or you work here? Uh, Why did you I, come? I work. Yeah, okay. I work. I believe like in most Poland, especially like the eastern part in Warsaw, we are like fully open for okay. everybody who wants to come here in every purpose. A lot of people lost their houses, lost the safety in their life. Yeah. So I don't do not see any problem with that. In my opinion, I don't have any okay. problem with that. Even so. illegally. You know what? In my opinion, it is like hard to be illegally yeah. at this moment because you have to cross the border. I think this is not like the main spectrum of a problem. This, most of them want to be here legally because they want to have a work. Um, so if they come to Poland, but they are from a country that's not a neighboring country to Poland, should they be allowed to come in here and be a refugee? Hmm, not a neighboring country to Poland. And then he just showed very interesting images. Hmm. Bro is like so desperately, so desperately. That has to be Weeby. Wait, this is Weeby? Weeby's Polish? Oh my God. Weeby's Polish? Weeby being Polish makes so much more sense. It makes me completely, it makes me completely understand why, like everything that he said about Kanye West. Wow. He told us in offline. Yeah, that makes sense. Yes, yeah, sure. Because... Yeah. We've been in this situation in I Poland. See. We have a travel history, so we need a help for our neighbor. What are your thoughts on uh, illegal immigration? Oh, uh, I think the crime rate is going much higher so okay. far. So what about like Syrian refugees, like Afghanistan refugees, uh, Eritrea? Are they close enough to be considered neighbors or should they go to the neighboring country? They're not like, of course, they geographically, they're not our neighbors, yeah. but if they looking for a safe place, they want to be here legally, they want to have a work, they want work, to build yeah. a new life. I don't see a problem with that. Dude, YouTuber meets normal human is shocked. Okay. YouTuber meets normal human with normal opinions is shocked by his response that is objectively normal like yeah who cares man they're just they're just normal people like have you heard about the belarusian polish uh hybrid war they call it yeah, yeah what are your thoughts on that of course this is not correct i mean to to allow or to bring people from outside just to to push them in, sure. uh, in you but before heading to the poland belarus border to see what poland says is a hybrid warfare at play where russia is sending migrants from china and africa into poland for them to then enter the rest of the eu and then financially and socially destabilize the rest of europe i met up with dominique member of the european parliament and poland's law and justice party is this man a racist alt-right islamophobe as the mainstream media and leftists detract the answer is yes, but Tyler Oliveira also is that, so he's going to he he's going to act like that's not the case. Actors call him. I want to ask him how does Poland's new border wall work? Can any refugees come in? What is this hybrid war? And how does their border control differ from other EU countries? And more importantly, does it work? And I'm very happy that we are on the street, not in the studio. Yeah. You can see and everyone can see Japan. Yeah, the difference. It's beautiful. Would this look different in Paris, London? Anywhere in Germany, what are your thoughts? I think the easiest way to answer it is Eurostat is the most important when it comes to the data. Okay. The safest country in Europe, Poland. Yes, the lowest unemployment, Poland. Uh, the less crimes, Poland. Yes. So if you ask me about any data, we are leaders. Okay. And that is the fact. It's not my political opinion. Yeah. When I quote this in European Parliament, I don't get it. Why are so many Polish people going to England then? She seems more, much better in Poland. Like, England fucking kind of sucks, too. I don't know why the Polish people are going to England then. They were very unhappy. Also, if you want to support our boots on the ground, independent journalism that is not bought and paid for. Oh, and shut illegal. the fuck when up. When Germany started this madness. In 2018, I said quite famous words. Zero illegal migration. In Warsaw, 
in every single Polish city. We don't want any illegals. Then they called me Islamophobe. If someone is from China, if someone is from India or someone is, it doesn't matter who he is. He's like, no, I'm not Islamophobe. I hate all non-white, even though people say I'm not white, I'm Polish, but I'm, I'm white. <laughs> I love when people are just like, no, you don't understand. Like I hate all non-white people unconditionally. Okay. That's such a funny response to someone being like, no, 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 no. I'm not just Islamophobic. I hate Chinese people. Like, <laughs> this is what sure. he believes in. If he's illegal, we do not want that. The difference between refugee and migrant, especially illegal migrant, is very, very, very clear. The refugee is the person who flee from the country on conflict, of right. conflict, to the first safe country. I didn't know that serious. Wait, no, no, not first safe country. But if even if you make the argument as a first safe country, Poland would be a first safe country for some. So what the f do you mean? Okay, he's trying to he's trying to play. He is trying to say he is trying to say like the Ukrainian, uh, the the Ukrainian refugees are one thing, but like Syrian refugees are not allowed. It's bordering country with Poland. It's not. <laughs> it's not. Okay. So the first safe country. That is why we took over two million Ukrainians legal. Because you are contiguous. You guys border. That's one right. Another. Okay. That's right. We're, In the case were, of Syria, Afghanistan, Eritrea, that is not the case. They are not refugees. I, I'm trying to repeat it every single time. If you want to come, you can come. Submit your documents, ask for a visa, stay here for six or ten months, pay taxes, contribute to the society, then you're welcome. Why not? We are not North Korea. Sure. Why are Syrian Afghanistan refugees coming to Poland and not migrants? Um, uh, UAE, uh... Why Qatar did not react? Why, why, why aren't they going to Qatar? Very rich Arab country. Okay. Where is Qatar? I'm trying to ask this question yeah. for years now. Yeah. No, I asked literally. I do not know where Qatar is on map. Where is Qatar on map? Where is it? Does it exist? I do not know. There is no map in Poland. <laughs> Please tell me. Everyone always laughs. They say I'm racist. I ask not in racist way. I want to know. I have no map. Does it exist? I do not know. Uh, only map in Poland. Beautiful map of Poland. That's it. No other map. Maybe Belarus and Ukraine for showing bad country. <laughs> and I cannot find any answers because we've been told that this is a global problem. So there is a need for a, for a global solidarity. So there is no global solidarity. Sure. Like Qatar is the, the great example. Our soldier was killed with a spear by that. the illegal. Terrible. So that would happen on the streets if, the, if we would let them in. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm literally trying so hard not to make Polish jokes. <laughs> I'm trying so hard. But come on, dude. A spear? You had a kitted out border patrol guy get killed by a spear? And then you see the spear is a knife attached to a stick. Like someone went and got tape and put a knife, taped the knife on a stick. How is that possible? Like physically, this does not make sense. I'm sorry. It's just. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not making jokes. I'm no more jokes. Just top of the hour ad breaks. Okay. Polish people in the chat. Like, I don't understand what just happened. I just started seeing ads. You're a Poor generational Poland hater. What? Or politics. Let's do propaganda. What? The Poland national football team were escorted by F-16 planes to the southern border of Poland on their way to Qatar. Qatar. <laughs> nice! Bro, I didn't know Poland had F-16s, dog. What are they, running on potato oil? How the f*** can they fly for that long? That's crazy. They didn't know Polish people knew how to fly planes. Let's be real. That's surprising to me. Probably surprising to you as well. Okay? Straight up. That's weird. Did not know that that was a thing. I did not know that Polish knew how to fly planes. I didn't, I thought 
Polish people stare in the sky when they see planes and go, that's God. You know? I thought they said, what the f*** is that? It must be a, a godlike figure. They're ca- <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten, bro, I've gotten so much better at not being adversarial to Polish people across the board. Okay. I, like, think about that. There was, <laughs> why exactly is that funny? <laughs> the F-16 was just showing them where Cutter was. Yeah. They started this madness by, by willkommen politik. Okay. That was the politic, you know, uh, welcoming illegals because they were hoping for for cheap labor okay. they found out that those who came illegally they do not they don't want to work they don't want to work but there's mo much more crimes sure so they said okay let's spread them around let's say that this is our responsibility and european solidarity and then we're going to get rid of this problem so in european union they started so uh, well, the, the thing they called quota system okay. each country should take Migrants. Oh, before I forget, I'm uh, they my are, right now. They called refugees. That's how they call them. They 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 says you're gonna pay like twenty two thousand euros per person if you will not take them in. And you guys said no, we no, are not doing that. Of course not. What were the consequences to that old action? I suppose they tried to force us to take illegals. We said no. It's better to pay. It's better to have frozen assets, whatever, mm. rather than risk our own life. Okay. And look at the streets now. Do a pan. There you go. Has Poland always been this way, Dominic? This, yeah. this is what it's needed to understand why we cherish our freedom so much. All right. Because of Russia, Russia, because of Germany, historically, Poland did not exist for 123 years. We gained our Terrible. independence back in 1918. So after that, after 1918, we had a little bit of freedom, but then in 1939, Germany and Russia attacked. Both fronts both and we had this terrible communism in poland for seven yeah he hates communism more hmm interesting interesting years that's why i hate putin i hate him okay. because he's trying to go back to the soviet union era the way he behaved the, the way russia behaved is unpredictable 123 years police <laughs> Finally, we have an MP with the great English. <laughs> ah, there we go. How, when, when did this hybrid war begin? Uh, is this a, an act of Russia trying to antagonize? Of course, of course. Okay. It's because when you go through the papers, you see that the guys who came to Belarus are with the Russian visas. Okay. So we know that by the fact, it's not an opinion. I see. So the whole process of traveling is organized by Russia. And because of the green border yeah. with Belarus, they are able to come to Belarus and attack our borders. So it's organized by Russia, of course. And they want to destabilize Poland and... Dude, it's crazy to be like... I, I can't get over the fact that he was like, yeah, Nazism and then communism, much worse. It's like some of the greatest atrocities, like historically, that has ever befallen uh, Europe was conducted by the Nazis in Poland. Okay? And this is like like he's still like you know i hate uh, i hate communism so much more <laughs> i hate it so much more like like straight up some of the absolute worst crimes against humanity his fam collab probably <laughs> other countries because the, the, the whole thing is not only about poland uh, hungary italy and others in this part of europe we know that russia is responsible and when you push back against the um Muslim refugees, illegal immigrants, whoever they were. Why did they call you an Islamophobe? What happened there? First of all, it's not true. Okay. One of my closest. He's like, we have still, we have still big building in Auschwitz. We use it for the Muslims. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Why don't we use building? It's empty. Nobody using it. I see shoe in the building. I think to myself, very nice. We should use this for Muslim. His friends. <laughs> This friend is from Syria. Ah, okay. You know, he came here yeah, legally. Fun. He started his company. Yeah. He paid taxes. He's been here for many years. Right. And we are very close friends. And he's from Syria. And he says, never, ever let them come in. Oh, of course, they okay. call us racist. They call us uh, Islamophobes. It's not true. They try to tell us that the doctors will come. 
engineers will come, that our society, sure. it's all bull. Do you need doctors? Of course not. I mean, I but we need doctors, yeah, not yeah. doctors, right? Do you need their doctors? No, thank you. <laughs> like, this is just pure unrestricted, unfettered racism, dog. He said their doctors are fake. We don't need their doctors. Why? Because they're Arab. Hey, but it's cool. He has a Syrian friend who said, don't let any of them come in. Wow. Cool stuff, man. That shit's great. <laughs> Take them. I want Poland to be like this. Look. Now, is most of Polish government in agreement with your stances on this? Is uh... this phrase be like Poland because of decisions which were made by our government? Yes, yes. Dzień dobry. <laughs> Dominic, you're loved far and wide here, it seems. It's like this message is resonating with a lot of the public. And you have to remember that this is a very liberal city. Sure. Are you a big fan of them? <laughs> yeah. Amazing. Tell me about the live bullets, the fact that you can now kill illegal immigrants trying to enter the border. I love it. Put this man in jail, dude. We gotta lock down Poland, bro. We gotta lock it down uh, until we figure out what the f going on over there. All right. If you wanna, if you wanna, if you are trying to commit a crime on the Polish soil, you might be dead. We do not know if you are a refugee, a migrant, or a terrorist. That's why after our after our soldier was killed, our parliament passed a law that we can use live bullets to protect our nation. We heard that right. it appeared. I'm sorry, that's, it's like, I know that this is a, like a horrifying escalation by the Polish government to be like, we're gonna use, also he's playing like funk music in the background, like that TikTok like workout music to talk about this disgusting piece of shit Nazi being like, we will shoot you dead if you try to come into Poland. And, and like, you're supposed to, Think that that's sick like oh man that's so sigma having said that okay having said that i cannot get over the fact that they legislated this after a polish border patrol guard got killed by a knife taped to a piece of wood like i'm sorry you know when we talk about like shit that israel does and then sometimes it sounds like anti-semitic but it's just real shit that Israel is doing. Like when you first encounter that, when when I first heard about like the cum squad, I was like, come on, dude, you're being a little anti-Semitic. Like you're making this shit up. Like there's no way, right? And then you find out it's real and you're like, oh my God, they're doing that. This literally reads in the exact same way. It reads like an anti-Polish joke. Like, <laughs> yes, one, one border guard died when trying to put light bulb on and then we decide no more electricity. Like, what the f How is that? <coughs> How the f is that real? Like, why are you not embarrassed to say that? Why are you saying that with your chest? Why are, why is this you representing this, this wonderful country to the entire world in this way? <laughs> you may think it's funny, but most Poles have never seen a knife on a stick as an advanced weapon. They don't know how to counter. I just... <laughs> I gotta say, Hassan, it's a major earlier country lost to this nation of hoople heads at Vienna. Please do not bring up. <laughs> Please do not bring up. Big mistake. <laughs> I'm the annoying Polish chatter. <clears throat> but he is from a party that got a shit pushed in last year so we can whine and yep. But they're not coming back to power. Though he is being floated as a presidential candidate in next year's election, he is one of the only people speaking English on some level. Oh my god, bro. This is, it's so cooked. Also, I've been Turkey recently helped Cuba to get flour to help feed my mother's people and family. Do the logistics in the U.S. being monsters, your country made it happen. Nice. But there is no such a zombie cities like Philadelphia, San, Fran San, Francisco. San Francisco. We don't have yeah. that. You know why? Why not? Because we are protecting our border. Okay. That's the way they, they, they try to smuggle it into the country. Any illegal activity is always connected to the drugs okay. or guns. But drugs is a, is a very good business. So it's not only about having illegal... Yeah, the only guy in Poland to speak English and represent the people, and he's a straight-up Nazi. That sucks.
news. It's also about security and anti-war drugs, anti-drugs war. So we are winning at the moment. We can say how many people are. Putin toilet paper. How safe they feel. The funniest thing is those probably don't even want to stay in Poland. They just want to pass through Poland to like go to Germany. You know what I mean? And this way, Germans either wash their hands of the blood by literally being like, yeah, those barbaric Poles are doing this, not us. You know? That's straight up it. Like that that that's what's going on. Feel you can tell. It's just it's just beautiful. You can't see this kind of this kind of thing in Europe anymore. Uh when do you think the rest of Europe lost this? When they decided to be politically correct. It started with, <laughs> with the leftists. This is what they want. They want diversity. What kind of diversity? With a knife and a rifle? Is this, is this diversity? Sure. Beautiful. You do not see soldiers with the rifles sure. as you see in London or in France. There's no need. We are not racist. The best Polish CS player is harder Islam than you. Folks. Okay, chill. We are logical. So I think it's very important to have this discussion, uh, our discussion, while eating. Okay. I tell you why. Why? Because it's so peaceful. Can you show around? Beautiful. How, 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 how peaceful it is. You don't feel any stress. You do not feel any anxiety. You don't feel threatened by anyone. You don't have anyone coming to your table and, you know, asking, asking for, for money for or for whatever. You just sit, relaxing, have a nice beer and then you have beautiful pierogies. This is what I love about Poland. That's you why- you have homeless people here? Well, every country has okay. homeless, but can you see any? Why are the you women know? so beautiful? Oh my God, what the f does that mean, dude? Can you see any? Yeah, we hide them. <laughs> we hide them good. Oh, yeah. What about what? men? Uh, hello? No offense to the guys. Oh. <laughs> okay, this is okay. This is an AOE attack. Women so beautiful, yeah. What about this is an AOE attack for every Eastern European country? Okay, this literally is like most Balkan nations. All right, this got <laughs> hella chatters got hit with damage that they didn't even know that they were signing off on today. This is literally everyone. Okay, this is more Serbia than Poland. No dog. This is. Rate up every dog. This is every Slav nation, okay? Every, every single one, straight up. Yo, I thought I'm watching something about a Polish Nazi guy. Didn't know I'm gonna get insulted like this. Man, uh, hello. No offense to the guys. <laughs> Poland is the last stronghold of normality in Europe and in the world in many, many ways. Come and visit. And you made sure I wasn't a Russian propaganda asset, right? I hope you. How is CD Projekt Red not taking over the country yet? They have only one computer in the nation. It should be easy, dude. CD Projekt Red is like representative at its peak. Was like representative of like what fifty percent of their entire market or something. Like it was like a ginormous percentage of their GDP. Okay, they literally were the economy. They hate electricity so much. They literally have a candle on table. In broad daylight? Yeah, dude, it scares them when the lights go out. <laughs> you said Poland is catching up to the UK? No, dog. UK is catching up to Poland. <laughs> You're not. <laughs> you would be killed. All right. The whole process of replacement is just a fact by the numbers. It's not my political opinion. By the numbers, we are in a very, very bad situation. And listen to me, I, I do understand that you will have Maybe someone will translate it into a Arabic or any other. Do not come to the Polish border. What Arabic. will happen if you do and you try to enter illegally? You might be killed. Why? Yeah, what the f is that? Why is he always, why is he only talking about Arabic? If you'll come here illegally, you will try to harm any of our soldiers. Okay, I wasn't wrong. Video game giant CD Projekt Red becomes Poland's most valuable listed firm amid coronavirus turmoil. It literally hit... Its valuation hit 27.6 billion zloty on Thursday, reported Gazeta PL, surpassing three state control firms, and, and it was 13.88% of the index. So, yeah, I wasn't wrong. You will be killed. Mmm. 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 <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to Pirogis, to Poland, and um, come. I'm telling you. <laughs> D U M on this stream? is the only.
He's saying come to Poland unless you're Arabic. Only interviewed my whole career <laughs> when I let someone record me when I, while I'm eating. How is it? As a man of the people. Okay, that shit looks sick. I don't know what's going on. I, like pierogies are fine. It's whatever, but that actually does look kind of fire. I don't know what that is. It tastes like freedom. It's Saturday night. But look, look, look. There's no beggars. There's no homeless. There's no fentanyl. We don't do Chick Fil A. We don't do McDonald's. No, we don't. Burger King. No, we don't. KFC. No, we don't. <laughs> it's Zapikanka. We do proper Polish, very healthy. Uh, what are your thoughts on Poland? Mm. Well, we arrived yesterday. So Where are you from? Uh, Rome. Italy, yeah. Do you feel safer as a woman? Yes, yeah. It's funny. Do you feel safe in Rome as a woman? Or Italy, sorry? No, not at all. Why? It's Ladies, dangerous. Where are you from? When you come from Rome, he's going for it. I visit it. The way, the way he, like, approaches them and their reaction to this disgusting little ogre this disgusting orcish husk of a man approaching them with his sweaty, grimy, oily hands immediately spells stranger danger. Like, look at their faces, okay? Look at their faces. He is so unaware that he is about to literally change their opinion of Poland. Remember how they said, no, I do not feel bad. Uh, I don't feel bad. In Poland, I don't feel scared, but now I do. That's what they're about to say, okay? <laughs> I did feel safe in Poland before you sicked your ogre on me, okay? Now I'm saying, Mamma Mia, or maybe Poland not so safe. <laughs> what do you feel like? Because it's not safe. Why is it not safe? Uh, because we don't feel safe like what we have at night. Uh, well, who are you afraid of at night? Men. Which men? Men in general or specific types of men who come to the He's like literally trying so hard to just like grab this sound bite out of her mouth. Like, come on, please say, please say it. Just say black men. Just say like African migrants. Please, maybe Arabs. Come on, any of that. Any of the men in region will do for the purposes of what I'm trying to accomplish here. Please, oh God, please. Different places. Like Italian men. Italian men? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, yeah, have you seen Italian men? What no. do you think? Can I ask you? Here's a thought. Can Sorry. we please order in the meanwhile? Yes, they do. <laughs> can you, can you, should you buy them one? Thank you. Yeah. Should you buy them one? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no? <laughs> okay, they don't need it. They don't need it. They can buy their own. Why do you think they feel unsafe in Rome? Let's be honest. Because of Africa. Let's be honest? Dude, I hate these disgusting little monsters, dude. Why would you even leave this in? Why would you keep this in, you idiot? I guess he doesn't give a shit. Like, he straight up is like, I'm Adolf Hitler, and this is my friend, Polish Adolf Hitler, okay? And we're just having a, we're, we're just having a Hitler off. Like, that is so gross, dude. That is an insane thing to just leave in the edit. Let's be real. They're afraid of Africans, right? You know it and I know it, but they're just too, they're just too afraid. Yeah, it's 100% Hitler versus 100% Hitler. Oh my God. Bro, I see shit like this. Get mad at me all you want, but it makes me understand where Stalin was coming from. Okay? Like, not, not the best, <laughs> not the best uh, governor all right made a lot of mistakes but if i see stuff like this i'm like oh dude i get it like i kind of get it i understand i hear this kind of thing i hear this kind of sentiment i'm like oh no you're going to the mines like i'm sending you to the mines you need to work in the mines right now okay you need to go work in the mines immediately at gunpoint sorry yeah enjoy it enjoy the show that's crazy that's a that's like you should be so much more embarrassed to have these opinions and to openly say these opinions. What the f dude? Like, I have a question. My Polish friend wanted to ask you if he was Belarusian, would he be welcome in your community? Are you a fan of Belarusian people? Jokes aside, we love Belarus, right? I mean, I love Polish people too. I don't give a f just not this asshole. The Asmin mold credence who watches don't have the social maturity to correctly analyze his interaction is insane, so he leaves it in. I don't, <laughs> why is Asmin gold catching strays in this combo? We're watching. Two years ago, there were 
it was scary. Now they are getting arrested one by one for the last eight years of corruption. Also, he's the most trollish, but not the scariest or most popular. I think you would love Polish politics. We had one of the first transgender parliamentary member, one from Nigeria, and twin brothers were president and prime minister of Poland, and one of them died in a plane crash. It's fun. Dude, all I'm saying is I would overreact, okay? I would overreact as well. Do you understand what I mean? Like, if I was, if I heard two having this conversation in the heat of, like, Nazi Germany's rise, I'd be like, oh, dude, I'm throwing as many people that think like this directly into gulags okay like it would break my brain luckily i do not have any power right but like honestly and i'm not saying that like stalin put all the people that think like this into gulags i'm not saying that at all i'm simply saying that i understand how you could arrive at a conclusion that like many people need to be <laughs> put in the gulag after seeing the shit oh my god it's so, oh my God. Oh yeah, that's when, last time I got canceled by the Polish. Oh my God, last time I got canceled by the Polish, it was when, uh, this was when I said, this was when I said, I'm in Poland, it's like 98% white people here, what the fuck is going on? And then, um, and then, uh, what do you call it? Stefan Molny meme, white nationalist Stefan Molny meme, literally retweeted it. And all the Nazis were canceling me to be like, you're so racist. Why did you apologize? Well, because I was a much nicer person back then. Okay. I, not so nice anymore. Africans, they are afraid to say something. So his argument is that African migration to Italy has. The second tweet, dock your penis in a meat grinder. Wait, what did I? I said that. Wait, what did I say? All jokes aside, I did talk to a bunch of Polish people this weekend. I love you all. I'm actually sorry if my words came across as offensive. Unless you're a far-right dipshit who wants to protect Poland's whiteness, in which case, dock your penis and a meat grinder. Okay, I wasn't that nice. Wasn't it when you said Poland had no internet? No, that's recent. That was recent when it got on r slash Poland. <sighs> Stalin was putting in unk Bolsheviks in the gulag because of shit like this. Yeah, he probably talked to one Polish Nazi and lost his mind, is what I'm saying. <laughs> he literally, he was like, dude, what the f Okay, spiritually broken. That's had a, an impact increasing the rate uh, in Italy, for example, or in Germany, or in France, or in UK. Would that be accurate? Would you stand on business to that fact? No, but when we meet like uh, a guy in the street, we don't know uh, if he's Italian, uh, English, Spanish. Uh, it's like a potentially dangerous. Mm, okay, okay. We, the, the, can, I, can I ask you for your... What do you think about Prime Minister Meloni? Go, go, go. Meloni? Meloni. Poland really is as white as Stefan Molny meme said it was. This is a bad thing. There are countries where the vast majority of people are still white. How is this allowed? Slavs aren't white. Also, fuck off. We're full. Okay, let's stop looking at my greatest hits about Poland. <laughs> She's going to deport people now. What are your thoughts on that? What do you think? Good or bad? No, no trick answer. Bad. Good or bad? Totally bad. Bad, bad person. Why not, is she bad? She's not tolerant. She's racist. Oh, she's, she's racist. She's not tolerant. Dude, you got like pizza meat crawling up your nose. You goddamn, you goddamn pig. You orc. You goddamn animal, dude. Oh, she's not tolerant. Oh, what now? Eh. Unk is getting real riled up at night, okay? I don't know how many beers he slammed, but... Oh. <laughs> oh, God, he's got literally food on the side of his mouth. Oh, you are such a pig. You are such a disgusting little monster. Dude, this is literally how... This is... Oh, my God. This is a perfect Nazi-ass moment right here. Oh, my God. Look at look at the, the the Italian girl's face, bro. Look at her face. It says it all. <laughs> She's single-handedly ruining Polish reputation with these women. He's single-handedly ruining Polish reputation with everyone that's not the most racist person you've ever met. Like straight up. Like I, I like I want to I want to maintain the opinion that Poland is a wonderful country, you know, we got our orcs here, you know what I mean? And like, if you were to judge every American by like the dumbest QAnon supporter, shit would not look great. But also, if a Polish person was making fun of our politicians in the same vein, I would be also right there with them. You know what I mean? I'd be like, you're so right.
Um, <clears throat> having said that, however, you know, this is not exactly a great representation of Poland for the outside world. <laughs> so, so you don't know who's raping? What do you mean? I don't understand the question. Like, you're trying to you say don't, something? She understands. She Bro, he's like owning them in the marketplace of ideas. Like, you don't know who's raping. It's the it's the Arabs. It's the Arabs. It's the Africans. Yes. Oh, very nice. He doesn't understand the question. Like, I, what are you okay. trying to say? This okay, so one more question. Who's going to win in the US? What do you think? It's going to be Kamala or Trump? <laughs> Hopefully Kamala. There you go. Thank you very much. Ladies. I have a beautiful oh, night in Poland. Yeah, yeah. We support leftists in the US. Why they want Kamala to win when they are not happy about safety in Italy because of illegal migration? What the f is going on in their brains? They, they, they said a few words that I think are important. Inclusivity, right, acceptance. I like that Tyler Oliveira is so lost in the sauce of like this insane right-wing idiocy that he cannot comprehend that, like, you probably shouldn't be associating with this guy. Like, you also look just as gross when you are in agreement with this freakish little pig. Okay? Right? I think that's it. The real acceptance is in Poland. I'm from Iraq. I'm Kurdish. And uh, it's been two years I live in Gdańsk. I study masters. So what do you do in Poland? Yeah, I study masters in international business. So you are from Iraq, mm -hmm. moving to Poland to study. Yep. Are you legally in Poland? I'm legally in Poland. Oh. Dude, you cannot tell me that Poland is better off preserving this guy in its boundaries, in its national boundaries, and not like this guy, okay? I'm sorry. It's just like, what a ridiculous, like, dude, deport this guy, deport this guy, and get these guys to replace him, okay? Okay. <laughs> you're very welcome. Thank you're you very legally, much. you're very welcome. Appreciate it. I watched all of your videos and I totally support you. I take it back. No, kick this guy out too, okay? Nope. It. Nope. Go back to your own country. <laughs> Never mind. I take it back. <laughs> Bro, what's up? What's up? Listen, man. Listen. There is something so spiritually wrong with, and I'm going to say my people, okay? I don't know what it is. I am reminded of that Turkish who crossed the border, okay? Like, he's, he's Iraqi Kurdish. And it's just, like, hyper-specific to this area where the moment... That you pass the boundary, something happens where you're literally like, something happens where you literally go, yeah, that's right, dude, kick these out. What's going on? It's like the Turkish guy on Fox News. It's the Turkish guy on Fox News. He was like, yo, they might be letting in rapists through this border. It's like, bro, they have you on a microphone. Like the Fox News people literally think you're the rapist. Like, I'm reminded of this. This is my favorite video of a Turk ever. We saw some of them carrying their luggage with, without any resistance, and he said Americans should be worried about who's coming into the country. Take a listen. Did you have to pay a cartel? Yes. How much? Around 10000 10000 Yes. In fact, the American people is right, completely true. Who come into this country, they don't know. Well, okay, I'm good, but uh, how if they're not good? How they're killer, psychopath, else? Uh, no guarantee of that. Why, like, like no, no security, be, no, no security check, no background check. No security check, no background check. You're worrying about who's crossing the border. Yes, yes. yes. They are, of course, me because I'm like people are not look normal. I love that you respect your country. Yes, sir. I'm also like, are you Christian? I'm, I'm an Christian. Oh, interesting. <laughs> oh, oh, köpek, köpek. Allah belanı versin senin. Hayvan oğlu hayvan. Oh, oh, what a dog he is. Oh my God. Oh my God. The guy who he is like being embraced by literally first racially fucking profiled him and was like, you are not here illegally, right? Oh, dude, you are, you have no backbone. You have no, oh God. Oh my Lord. It's so embarrassing. 
It's so embarrassing. <laughs> True love. Whatever you are, whatever your fight is, if you are legally in here, you are very welcome. I really like that you put all the Polish people first before anything else. That, like you said, we, we have normality here. Okay. Normality. We don't, we don't have chaos here. Okay. Uh, you can you can express your whatever you are. Just don't push your agenda on someone. Okay. Else. I'm with, my, I'm with my girlfriend, and I Where is she? Uh, Come over. Come over. Is she Polish? Yeah. Yeah. Dzień dobry. Hello. Mam na imię Cześć. You're super. You, you just get married. <laughs> <laughs> You're very welcome. There we just, go. You, you see the difference between illegal and legal presence in here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Guys, yeah, have a beautiful night. Appreciate it. Thanks. Happy. Yeah. She was cherished. She was taken care of. Yeah. If you want this Hollywood movies, this beautiful... No, don't say he's just trying to survive, bro. I'm telling you right now. He's he's a dog, okay? Uh, stories of love to be real. You will not respect our women. We're going to take care of you. Simple. <laughs> You and, can. And with gratitude and respect. Pay your taxes, get Polish wife, become a Polish. Be like Poland. After a night out on the safe streets of Warsaw, Dominique took me to Poland's border they share with Belarus to show me a project they've spent $2.5 billion on to help keep Poland Polish. So we're here. This place looks brand new. They're not messing around. They're strapped. They got camouflage. They got big guns. They're not here smiling. They're here straight faced. Who are you? Why are you here? So luckily we have the clearance. We should be good to go through. Let's see how big and bad this wall is. They're not messing around. Okay, that seemed intense. They did not play it's, around. No, no jokes. Do they know who you were? Yes, they know, but the procedure is procedure, and I, I respect that. Yeah, yeah. This is the border of European Union with Belarus. We are the ones with the, with this border, so we are protecting the whole Europe. How yeah. new is this? Well, the wall was built very, very fast. I yeah. must say, when the first. Uh... Racism is so banal, right? You sound like a Nazi German today. This prick you're watching is hated by so many. He's a bolek and racist. The decision with the border was made by the EU. Germany was pressuring the most, and many are trying to fight against it. For example, Polish blind spot NGO and many more. Learn some facts about the political fights here. It's funny that you say that because I literally didn't even know that, and I suspected that and mentioned exactly what you're saying. I said... The reason why Poland is having this strong of a border protection is most likely because Germany is pressuring them to do so, so they can maintain their, like, enlightened stance and make the Polish do their dirty work for them. That is precisely what I said, and I didn't even know that that's actually what had happened, but I assumed that that is most likely what happened. Turns out I was right. That was speculation. <sighs> All of CD Projekt Red's earnings went to this border? Oh, no. Um, attempts. Look soldiers all the way through but don't record them okay. don't record them point it out myself this is, like, this is a training camp this is home what is this they live here well when they have a service night they have a place to change and prepare and this and that it's a lot of them our border was not ready for that but what we did we He's react like our border was not ready for the spears <laughs> once they upgraded to spear technology once they upgrade to spear technology this is no match for border this is no match for Polish border. Very dangerous, very scary. We don't like, we hate, we hate this new technology. The spear. Acted straight away. We built the wall, you're gonna see the wall in a minute. After the murder of the, the guard? No, that was beforehand. When the whole madness started in Europe, yeah. our government decided, okay, that's enough. We're not taking all this crap. Yeah. We're gonna build the wall. So but how exactly are they sending the refugees or the, the illegal migrants? What, or... they do, what they do, they invite them to Russia Okay. They are getting a uh, tourist visa, they pay for it. Then they are transported from Moscow or other places in uh, in Russia to Belarus and then Fire. to the border, Place. Polish border. And I've seen some TikTok videos of people trying Place. to break through the wall. Well, yeah, it's, they, they try in every single night. Sure. It's not like you you don't have to protect it, you do have to protect sure. it. Okay. Let's, let's park here and walk. Amazing. Okay? It looks peaceful out here. What time do people start trying to break into the wall? Uh, every night about three or four o'clock in the morning. Okay. This is when they trying to cross the border. They know that this is the best time. Oh, you can see soldiers now. Okay. You can see some guys. So he's aware are... of our presence. He's on guard. You see, you see, you, you just said that it's very peaceful. Sure. It, is peaceful. It, it took us 30 seconds to have a, to have a soldier reacting sure. for someone's presence. Dominik Tarczyński. Oh, okay. Does he know you? 
Yes, but you have to say your name. I there see. Is, there's no jokes. That's okay. why I think they are professional. They, okay. they know their job. A to trzeba mieć zakryto, tak? No, ale lepiej by było, bo to też dla posłusznego spokoju, nie? Że oni później nagrywają i widzą, kto tutaj wchodzi, kto nie wchodzi, no. Tak? Nie, nie wiadomo, kto się w czaj krzaka, nie? Także to jest dla własnego bezpieczeństwa. So he says, he says, if we don't have masks, for us it's not good to be there, because they are recording Russians and Belarusians. They, they want to know who's into the subject who's interested in the border protection. So for our own safety, if we don't have a mask, we shouldn't enter because it's not safe. It's it's a war, it's not a joke. So what? Dude, that's so f okay. I'm trying so hard not to make Polish jokes, bro. Like he's literally saying like, like if you are here without mask, we think you're Belarusian or Russian, we kill you. Which is funny because it's like, okay, then what if the Belarusians wear masks? Oh, automatically the Polish. How did they evade our beautiful technology? How did they... How do they evade... How do they evade beautiful technology? I think he's saying Russia will film you. Still very dumb. Yeah, what, are, what is Russia going to do after filming him? <laughs> oh, they're saying Russians have cameras pointed into Poland and are looking at them. Oh, yeah, they're gonna, the Russians are gonna assassinate Tyler Oliveira. <laughs> no, okay, that's still funny. They think, <laughs> camera, it captures your soul. <laughs> this is Russian camera, it captures your soul. Do not show your face. This is Russian camera, it will steal your soul. Please do not do it. Please put the mask on. Uh, <laughs> this Russian camera across the border, they steal you. So we'd be in the database. Yeah. And is this largely contested right here? Are people trying to go Place. through this? Right, right. That's it's much that's shorter, the... much shorter compared to this. And it was, it was thousands of them. Thousands, thousands of, of them in one day. They're trying to force Polish border and they lost. Okay. We stopped them. It was, I don't know, maybe 10,000 of them. A lot. So a lot of things going on at the moment. Look at that. There's clothes right there. Right. People are trying to get over this. Straight away. So I'm proud. I'm proud to be here to see this soldiers and to see their service and to see the wall because when i see the wall i do understand that this is for my future children for my future wife for my future family i would say yeah he doesn't have one classic incel nazi piglet dude uh, one day i will have wife you gotta hurry up dog <laughs> you're up there i saw you scarving those pierogies you don't got that much life left in you <laughs> Uh, one day, I'm, I'm uh, 55, one day I have wife, my future wife. <laughs> to every single leftist, if you don't believe that this is war, come and see, come and see. Let's say I'm from Syria, I want to go through this wall, I break through the wall, what happens to me next? You're killed. Dead. Shot. You will die like a dog. You can hear now. Do you realize that every time you do an Eastern stereotypical accent, you're being so racist? Yes. Who's that? Belarus? Yeah. You can hear them. Yeah, yeah. Who was that? It's a speaker or people? Yeah. No, 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 the people, people. They're, they're, are, they're in the groups, they communicate as well. They're very, well. they're very well organized. I think, I think they are, some of them are trained, paid, obviously. Sure. They are not just simple people. Like mercenary groups? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. You can tell that Russia pays well to destabilize, like Poland and other countries. They want us to spend... Or they just want to get into... The further into the EU, dude, that's probably what it is. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't I don't know if Russia is paying for like Syrians to, you know, go into the European Union. I think they just kind of you know, that's just kind of how migration patterns work. You've you're just doing a twofer. They're not even trying to go to Poland. They're probably trying to go to Germany. Okay? Holy money on this rather than around healthcare or anything else. One of their colleagues was killed just from this kind of distance. Yeah. He with the spear. With the spear. Yes. Bro, he's talked about the spear so much. He is like, I don't think you understand the way people look at the spear thing. Like I I truly don't believe he understands. Like most people are gonna hear that and laugh. I don't think they're gonna think that this is like an incredibly dangerous invasion. Unless they're super racist. So it's not safe for us to be here because- Yes, they might throw spear at me from border. Anytime now, this is magic tech. It's ancient, it's magic. They have 
magical camera on Russian border and spear. This is just a moment and you might be dead. But three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, the war starts every night, every night. And then we hopped in the car to visit another part of Poland's border deep in the forest. It used to be- I once talked to a Polish tourist in China who always wanted to see China and I said I want to visit Poland as well to be polite. He just stared at me and asked why. A completely weak border just a few years ago. A little bit creepy out here. Oh yeah. You wanted to come and see. <laughs> yeah. And right. this is reality. Sure. Keeping our eyes peeled to see if we see anyone in the forest. It's not impossible to get through the wall, but it's highly unlikely given the amount of security here. I thought this would be a little bit more lax, like some parts of the southern border in the U.S. No, this, this is not is relaxed. This is this is war. Actual this is war. complete the actual war. We made it. I will hop out so you can see, but this wall is in the middle of the forest. The road is not even paved. Just to emphasize how rural this location is. We had to do it in the middle of the forest. Yeah. There was no infrastructure. Structure, sure. Because that was a that is a green border. Yeah. So yes, okay, so we see soldiers already. We can see the border actually as it is. Look how long it is. Yeah. And not only that, we have barbed wall and then another wall, double wall. And then you have got soldiers, right? So that's very important. Oh, yeah, that yeah, yeah, yeah. Fully masked up with their yeah, faces too. They are recorded by yeah. Russian, so they don't want to. And there's cameras in the forest right now. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Recording. Yeah. Recording Polish soldiers. That's right. That's right. So day in, day out, they're watching these walls. They're probably gonna ask who are we? Yeah. Sure, sure. Fair question. All those cameras right there. Massive surveillance. Hi. Everyone who died because of the terrorists in Europe is because your lack of decisions, lack of bravery, political correctness, you are responsible. Leftists are responsible for chaos in Europe. And they think they fight us, Republicans, conservatives. You're not fighting us. You're fighting with your own nations. We are protecting our own nations. And this is the proof. Can you hear that? Oh, they throwing stuff. They throwing stuff. We heard it. I heard a rock. Yeah. Should we say? Yeah. He's terrified. He's like, what if it's a spear? What if my time has come before I meet my wife? <laughs> Not a spear. I think they they might be throwing spear. Watch out. I don't know. They're throwing rocks. Why? Because they behave like animals. Unfortunately, they don't behave like civilized civilized people. You can see on the video. This they, long? They they can easy that, like long. Sp Even Tyler's like, damn, they got an arm on him. That mo that boy's got a cannon, dog. Let him in. <laughs> Let him play baseball in the Polish league. Beer. It's like on the video when our soldier was killed. It's easy for them to to throw it and kill you. It's so funny that he's like, yeah, they're they're behaving like uncivilized barbarians. Meanwhile, there's like a truck full of Polish dudes geared out with weapons waiting to kill unarmed civilians. Like, that's your civilization? You're way more barbaric, dog. Like, what the f are you talking about? Let's get out of here. So if you can't hear it on the mic, they're throwing rocks right now. People do want to get in. The question is, when will they try and how will they be punished? Let's get out of here, yeah? After seeing the symbol of Poland's defiance against the EU's push towards diversity, open borders, and economic opportunity for those less fortunate from countries that are culturally dissimilar, I met up with Dominique in Brussels. Countries that are culturally dissimilar. To see where Europe's elite politicians meet and decide the fate of an entire continent. Okay, let's go. I'll show you how we do it. Amazing. What's, the, it? what's the current split between... Uh, Liberals and conservatives in parliament right now. It's it's about 100 conservatives yeah. on 70, uh, 720 uh, MEPs. So it's not much, but I think it's better to be a strong, small group rather than a massive. You know the story of 300. Sure. It's us. What are your thoughts? He's like, yes, we are pedophile. We are pedophile army. It's us. We are gay pedophile army. You know, we get sweaty. We f each other. We the children, you know, like 300. It's on uh, the rest of parliament here, the EU in general. I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> also, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you want to retract that? What do you mean? What do you think the Spartans did, dog? What the? F also, they literally, they literally used spears. <laughs> What is going on? We have literally people defending the Spartans' honor in the chat. What's happening? I don't like Brussels. It. I don't like it at all. Okay. I tell you why. Again, I'm trying to be very objective, but I cannot be blind on statistics. Rapes, killings, stealings, stabbings. We don't have it in Poland. Sure. And when you see official data from here, from yeah. Eurostat, you see how Poland great is. It's so sad. But then when we are trying to tell them what is the reason of all this. They don't want to listen. They think that 
You're better, smarter. I mean, now, yeah. How large of a check would I have to write to uh, buy you out? You don't have this kind of money. <laughs> okay. You see, the difference between me and the rest is that I don't need sponsors. I don't need it. That's why they don't own me. I That's see. why I can say what I think and what I believe. This is what they're afraid of. The voice of the people. Oh, this is it? This is it. If we pop in? Yes, uh, it's close, right? Okay, so this is the place where we take votes, and this is the place where we have speeches. We have two buildings. This is how this is the machines for voting. Okay, what will it take to make Europe great again, in your opinion? Uh, to go back to the roots, Roman law, Greek philosophy, Christianity, not only as a faith, but also. I'm sorry, what? Dude, he is. He, first of all. <sighs> It's so funny to be like, Ro we got to go back to Roman law. Uh, I don't know if he's talking about like being a pedophile and, and having slaves or if he's talking about one of the most diverse, uh, you know, entire European continent uh, traversing countries. Like probably isn't talking about the good stuff and only about the bad. I suspect. Like, yes, we want Roman law. So it's a culture, it's the way of living, uh, mentality, art, music, everything. That's why I think Roman law, Greek philosophers, and uh, what we had, not only last century, but throughout century, is great. I want to raise my future children as a, as a Christians. So when you see attacks on Europe, you see attacks on Christianity, mainly on, on Catholics. 20 years, how do you think Europe will look like at this rate? It's gonna be very, very bad. It's yeah. not gonna change for better. I think it will be more killings, more stabbings, more terrorist attacks, uh, more wokeness, unless most of the nations will change their governments. Yeah, <laughs> the, the three things I hate, killings, stabbings, terrorist attacks, Islamist fundamentalism, and also gay people. So um, please God, they will wake up. But the change will start if Donald Trump wins in US. Because whatever happens in US, it happens in, in Europe six or 10 months later. Do you think we'll see walls like what we saw in Poland and other European countries soon? It's a matter of time. Yeah, 100%. The final word to the viewers and to you would be always remember who you are. Be proud of who you are. Do not be afraid. Be brave. Fight and make your life great. I know this is a tough one. Dominic, are you single? <laughs> Yes, I am. Why? I don't know. I'm sure some viewers might be curious. <laughs>